Around 200 BC, Aristophanes actually calculated the size of the Earth and came pretty close. Aristophanes used Aristotle's ideas that, one, if the Earth was round, the Sun would appear at different positions to observers at different locations. And two, if the Sun were very far away, the light rays would be almost parallel between any two locations. For his two locations, Aristophanes chose Alexandria and Syene, now Aswan. He knew how far apart these two cities were, 493 miles in today's units. Aristophanes knew that on the first day of summer, the sun passed directly overhead at Syene. At midday of the same day, using a tower in Alexandria, he measured the angular displacement of the sun from overhead. He found that the angular displacement was 7.2 degrees. That's approximately 1 50th of a circle. Geometry tells us the angle measured at the tower is the same as the angle between lines connecting the two cities to the center of the Earth. This is because when a straight line crosses parallel lines, it crosses them at the same angles. So given that the angle is 1 50th of a circle, the distance between the cities will be 1 50th of the circumference of the Earth. Thus, the circumference can be estimated by multiplying the distance between the two cities, 493 by 50, which equals 24,650 miles. The actual number at the equator is 24,901 miles, so he was only 1% off. Once we have the circumference, geometry gives us the rest. For a spherical Earth, the diameter is equal to the circumference divided by pi. That's 7,926 miles. The radius is half the diameter, so it's 3,963 miles. The surface area is four times the radius squared times pi. That's 196 million square miles. And the volume is four-thirds the radius cubed times pi. That's 260 billion cubic miles. Needless to say, this is very large. A high school teacher calculated the number of students that could fit inside the Earth. It came to 137,188,690 times 10 to the 12th students. This number of students is so large that if you could count one number per second, it would take you more than four trillion years to count this high. So you can see, the Earth is very large indeed.